Hello, this is a lesson on how to hold your sticks and also we'll be talking about how to just how to do a basic stroke, how to bounce the sticks. We'll do a few a few exercises for that. First thing, the grip. And the and how we're going to start that is you're going to just think about think about pinching between your thumb and your index finger. And it's going to be light. It's a light pinch just enough to hold the stick. And uh, two things, you're gonna be, the, sti the stick is gonna be resting, is gonna be on your, touching your index finger about at that last joint, at the, you know, at the, at the last joint. And then, and, and maybe, to, maybe to some extent, um, you know, between that last joint and, and the second joint. And then on the thumb, your thumb is gonna be going straight up the stick like that. Right, not side, not sideways. All right, so we take. So it'll look like something, it'll look something like that. All right, and then once you have that, let's just you can just wrap your wrap your fingers around, and you're gonna hold the stick against your palm. And some things about this are, it's not gonna be like this. So in other words, the butt of, the butt of the stick, it's not gonna be sticking out the side of your hand. It's gonna be going down your hand you can kind of think of it like it's an extension of your arm although it's not going to be like perfectly straight and also um you could another thing to notice is it'll it'll be coming down like the crease of your the crease of your hand there or kind of be resting on this pad of your palm so again it could be like there maybe a little more out out like that somewhere in there okay Couple other things. Um, the stick, or, or I'll say it this way, first. It's it's not tight and wrapped up. It's very open. Okay. So the way I like to describe it is, is uh, you the stick is sort of cradled or suspended in your fingers. Um, and I can here. Let me set this stick out of the way. So, so like this is kind of going on. The stick is sort of resting on my finger, fingertips, not not really the tips, but um, toward the ends of my fingers, and uh, and then and then I'm just wrapped around the top. And then another thing, I mean, this is, you know, I don't know if you can see, but I can see through my hand, right? It's very open. There's an opening here. It opens somewhat in the back too. I don't know how well you can see that. But the main thing you can probably just see see how how open it is all around. Another thing about the grip is is that, as I was saying, I said not the fingertips, but what it is is it's more like the, it's like that last joint, just like as we started the grip with the the stick on the last joint. All these other fingers too, the stick really feels like it's sort of, um, it can really feel like it. You you can kind of get like a nice grip on it out in that in that last joint. You know, obviously your fingers bend and they kind of can curl around it right there. Um, so, and it's, so it's not the fingertips, but the thing we want to avoid that I often see with students who aren't really using their fingers right is I'll see this kind of stuff going on where it's, I see those fingers just like kind of flapping around way beyond the stick. And, and once you've done that, then you're then you're stuck only using your wrist. Uh, and we use our wrists um, in drumming, but we use our wrist a lot, but we also use our fingers. Right, and so you wanna you wanna keep the stick in a position where you 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 know you can use your fingers, um, both your wrist and fingers at all times. Um, all right, and then another thing I want to say is we have this uh, this this sort of range between I can I can play with my thumbs on top, I can play with the back of my hands up up facing up, thumb up back of the hand facing up, or there's an in-between. And what we call these, uh, there's names for all these. Fr French grip is thumbs on top. German grip is back of the hands up. And then people call uh, American grip the in-between one. And, uh, and with the American grip, one thing I like to think about with this, and this is what I recommend, you know, it's sort of a middle ground. So I like to have that's what I mostly use, and then and then uh, I like to have my students start that way. Is uh, 
is is the stick when you're in American grip, the stick kind of can nicely just kind of if it if it were to flip back all the way, it would just it just kind of goes onto the onto that that part of your your uh, your hand and and and, the, and then that space is open too, so it's kind of convenient like that. Not that that happens that um, really ever when you're actually playing, but but that just gives you an idea of about the right uh, rotation or right um, orientation to have your hand in. All right, so that's enough for the grip, and now we'll move on to a couple exercises. Okay, before we get into these exercises, uh, a few big picture ideas. Um, one thing I want to point out is you can think of uh, think of there being three different hinges from from where you can make a stroke. So one would be your elbow. And well, while we do, you know, well, when people play the drums, I mean, you know, there is some looseness in your elbow and you want to let it move, um, especially with drums that you got to reach around. Right. But but basically we're not using that one for the most part. I mean, let it relax, but don't don't use it at all. Don't like deliberately be using your, your elbows here. Um, and then we have our wrists, right? Wrist, and then our fingers. Let me show you like this wrist. And we can also have our fingers. So the fingers, it's like, it's sort of like, there's this, there's this fulcrum here. This is the pivot point. And then we use our back fingers to move, to move the stick. Right. And then wrist, if I use my wrist, I'm just going to keep my fingers uh, holding this back of the stick against my my palm, right? And then that's if, I, if I'm doing if I'm holding the stick against my palm, then I have no choice but to use my my wrist. Okay, so basically no elbows. And again, there's a correct way to use your elbows, but I don't start there. Um, I, the first thing you want to do it's it's really it's really about your your wrist and fingers and getting getting those happening. Um, also play slow, play, just take your time and play slow. It's the main thing. I think if you, if you almost any music teacher, I think will tell you that it's one of the main things that they tell people just over and over again is to slow down, you know, clean it up, slow it down, get it together that way. And then, and then speed it up. Everybody, everybody's always rushing through things and, and not, you know, not sort of developing the fundamentals first. Um, another thing to remember is watch what you're doing. Um, yeah, check in, at least check in to make sure, you know, make sure that it's happening the way it's supposed to happen. And then you can space off and space out and look, look off in a distance. But a lot of times I'll see people doing something very, very wrong and they're, and they're staring off in the space, right? Not looking at what they're doing, playing, playing off, hitting the rim of the pad, playing with sticks in completely different places. Um, on the drum and looking off into space. So, so look at what you're doing. Make sure things are, you know, happening the way they're supposed to happen. Um, and that's it. That's the big picture stuff. And now let's get into some exercises. So first one I want to do is, I don't have a good name for this. It's called the stick falling back exercise. But have your uh, your forearms going to point straight up? Um, you make your grip the way the way we talked a few minutes ago. Your forearm, my forearms, pointing straight, pointing straight toward the ceiling. And then what's happening is, and, and then remember when I said American grip, the stick can kind of fall back into that space. That's what you're going to do. You're going to you're going to sort of just let open your back fingers. The stick is pivoting around your thumb and your index finger or pivoting on that pinch point, the fulcrum. You're opening up. And then you can just snap it back. And so all you're doing, you're, we're just using gravity to let the stick drop back. Another thing I'll point out that's kind of uh, a little complicated is uh, 
so on all these back fingers, I said that the stick base is going to touch that that last joint, right? That's where the contact is. And on the index finger, that's largely true too. But the index finger is a, a little bit more complicated because it's almost like it's kind of the stick actually can, touches your index finger in two different places. And it depends on how you're playing. There's so there's different ways. There's kind of, you know slightly different variations on on the grip that I won't get into all that now. Um, so what I'm about to say is not always true, but for the way we're learning right now and just generally speaking this is true um so think of it more like the pinch point is now a little bit further back maybe more like on this on this second joint here the fulcrum across from my thumb and then what's happening is is my index finger is curling around and then and then and then i'm kind of hooking the stick with with the tip of my finger and so look, I can just do I can just do thumb and index finger and do this. See, and so I'm sec I'm securing the stick there with so I have that, and then with my and then with the the rest of my finger, you see how it's hooked around. I'm bringing it bringing it around. So that's so that's uh, yeah. So you, so the so the index finger is a little more complicated than the rest of them, and then the rest of them are just hooked around, just bringing it forward. Okay. All right. So continuing on, back to your grip. Just hold it uh, like you like you were going to play in front of a drum, which I don't. We haven't talked about that much. Uh, we haven't talked about that uh, yet. But but seeing that things to think about, if you're about to play a drum, your 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 uh, your arms are going to be more or less parallel to the floor. Same with the sticks, right? We don't, you're not going to like have any sort of like a angle as you're going to play the drum, right? They're just going to be kind of straight out from your arms. All right, and then and then and then you just kind of they're just kind of a V, you know, meeting in the center of the drum. And then for our purposes, I'm, purposes I'm going to get rid of that stick. I'm also going to turn away from the drum here cuz I need some space. And all we're going to do so I'm maintaining a normal a normal grip like there was a drum here. And then I'm going to use my hand. I'm just going to hit this up. And so this is very similar to this, right? Now we're just kind of reversing it. So before this was naturally falling, the gravity was pulling it back. Now I'm just pushing it up a lot quicker. And and now um, now it's more about me. It's more about this hand doing two things: holding on loosely enough in the front here, around that pivot point, the fulcrum. And also those back fingers uh, opening up just at the right time. And uh, you know about the fulcrum. The fulcrum happens. People play different ways. You can play. You can play more off your middle finger. You can play more off your index finger. You know, I can. You can be like that. It can be like this, or it can be a combination of both. And I would say right now I'm doing kind of a combination of both. And you can play with it. So so how about this? I'll do one off the middle finger. One, I'll, I'll, here, I'll do it this way. Now I'm just going to do it normal where I'm going to keep both on there. I don't know why I don't, you can leave your hand up. I keep dropping my hand up for some reason. All right. And again, take your time. One at a time. Right. Got my starting position. Hit it. This should just... You know, you don't need to let it fall all the way back. You can kind of stop it. You can do your either really. I mean, I would more realistically for playing, you're going to stop it around there. Um, but just you know, do it again. Uh, I'm I'm everything's looking good. I hit it. This all looks good. It's you know nothing weird is happening here. I didn't lose the stick. Something that might happen here is you might lose the stick into your into whatever this is. Ba basically, lose the fulcrum. You don't want to let that happen. Um, I'm trying to think what else can go wrong in this exercise. Usually, usually people's the main problem is people are either using your wrist. Don't don't use your wrist. Don't you know? Don't do this. You want to just this this hand is just completely just hit like kind of popping the stick and, and going away. Um, just en enough force to get the stick to go back. Don't don't use your wrist. You're just you're letting it slide in the fulcrum and just learn to. You're basically learning to 
what, what you're learning to do is you're learning to receive the bounce is what we're going to do in just a second on the pad. So as, as the stick, you know, shoots up, you're just learning how to sort of accept it with your hand. Okay, I think that's clear on that one. Now, next, we're going to do, a, I call this the prep to the free stroke. So we're working away. The free stroke is kind of the, I'd say the central, in a way I'd say it's like the, the central um, exercise for drum technique. All right, so I call this the prep to the free stroke. And so this is what's happening here. You're going to, you're going to sort of cock your, your hand back. You're getting ready. Think of the stick pointing straight up or maybe it may be a little bit back. My wrist is back, right? My wrist is cocked back. My fingers are a bit open. And then, and then we're over to, we're over the pad ready to play. And what's going to happen. I'm going to go, I'm going to, I'm going to sort of, you know, fling it down wrist and finger wrist and fingers are going to be closing pulling it down wrist is going to come down boom it's going to hit and what's going to happen here is just like we were doing our exercise all i'm going to do i'm actually going to keep my wrist down or, or it's, it's your wrist is going to be flat or a, or a little bit uh angled down it's going to hit and then i'm going to keep it down and i'm going to just open up and let the stick slide back and so this is equivalent to what we were just doing how, I, how I'm just letting the stick slide. So now what's happening is rather than my hand hitting the stick, I'm hitting and, and the pad is, the, the bounce off the pad is, uh, is what's moving the stick. So, and on this one, again, slow, one thing at a time. Hand, cocked back, ready to go. And then, and I just stayed down. Right. I'm not, I'm not my, my wrist. Another way to think of it is I'm just like this, or this is what my wrist is doing. I'm, I'm back and my wrist just stays down. Well, cause, and that, that might seem obvious what I'm just showing you right there, but, but what, what, what you're going to do is you're going to, you're going to probably just keep, you're going to probably get hit and then bring your, keep bringing your wrist back, but don't leave your, leave your wrist down and just let, and let your, let the stick slide and your fingers stay down. And, and what this is doing is you're sort of, um, What's really important is to learn how to just get, how to just let the stick bounce off and, and stop trying to like, stop trying to hit. I, I call it like touching the pad or, or touching the drum or, uh, or sort of carrying the stick because you're just doing all the, all the work all the time. But what we're trying to do is we're trying to learn to just let the stick bounce off and then we're only using our energy to, to push the stick back down. And then that's how you, like when I'm doing this right now, all I'm doing is I'm it's like dribbling. I'm just pushing the stick back down. And so the, fir the first thing to do is just to learn, just to learn to let the stick just bounce. Do it again. And, and on this one, at the end here, you're in a position, this is not a plain position. This is, you know, you're, you're just proving to yourself that the stick is bouncing. And so from here, you just have to completely reset. You just reset back to this wrist cock back, fingers slightly open. Same thing, don't lose it into that part of your hand. You gotta keep that fulcrum. And one thing I'll point out again, remember, watch what you're doing. A lot of this, a lot of this stuff, uh, when, I mean, once you get it, it is, it's natural. Uh, it'll feel natural, but at first, a lot of this stuff feels weird, especially working with your fingers, trying to use your fingers on the stick. It feels very awkward at first. And so um, it's, yeah, it's not gonna feel natural. And so I wouldn't really just trust what feels right uh, initially, I, I would, you know, use your eyes a lot to make sure that sort of these, these, uh, these parts of the grip are in place, right? You're holding that fulcrum, you're using your back fingers, you're using your, toward the tips that you're toward the ends of your fingers. You're not, you know, all ra you're not, uh, like this, um, you know, all basically watch for all the details I'm talking about. Okay. Free stroke. So same thing. We're starting the same way. Cocked back. 
but now, now since we've already learned to let the stick bounce up uh, in the last exercise, now, now go ahead and let your your hand come back up, and, and you're just ending right where you started. On the way down, I, I'm, I'm, uh, my you know my wrist is going down. I'm closing my fingers, and then and then it, it hits and it bounces up, and then it's sort of like I'm just rewinding everything back except I, but it's uh i'm just following the stick right i'm not using i'm not lifting the stick up at all i'm just letting the stick the stick is moving uh with its own momentum off the bounce and i'm just my hand is just following it it's just letting it go here we go i'll do a bunch Another thing I want to point on this is, is so I'm right now I, I'm using a combination of wrist and fingers, but you can do this exercise. I could do this exercise. Uh, we talked about the the you know the the wrist versus the fingers as uh, those two different fulcrums or pivot points, and I could do this exercise trying to focus more on my wrist. So I'll do that for just a second. So now, and the way I do that is I just if I, the more I the more I sort of just cl keep my fingers closed and keep the butt of the stick. Um, pinned against my palm. Um, you know, what I just thought that I didn't say I didn't say earlier about the grip. Have, in general, had think of having like a half an inch to an inch, inch and a half of the uh, of the of the butt of the stick out behind your pinky. Okay. Do, what I'd watch out for is don't don't get into this. Don't have like a lot of the stick sticking out back. Uh, cause it, it's just not, it's, uh, it's helpful to have, to be, it's helpful to err on the side of having more being toward the butt of the stick. Cause then there's more weight at the front and that gives you more of a bounce for all these exercises. So wa watch for that. Don't, don't creep. I see this a lot with students is they start, they start creeping up and pretty soon they're like this. And once you're up here, the stick, the stick is no longer bouncing right anymore. So, so watch for that on, on these exercises. All right. Where was I? Oh yeah. Wrist. So if I, if I keep wrist. I'll do some wrist free strokes here. You know, truthfully, maybe I'm opening up just a little bit. You know, it's hard to say, but I, but I'm just my point is there's like a spectrum from wrist to fingers, and all I'm I'm just trying to do a lot more wrist right now. And then and then I can do the opposite. I can say I'm going to try to do as much fingers as I can. And so and this now my wrist is pretty straight. I'm going to really open up with my fingers. And even here, you know, there's probably a bit of wrist going on. So I'm just trying, you know, just trying to do as much fingers and as little wrist as possible. So that's something you can think about as you're doing this. When you're starting off, just try to do a mix of both. Just your wrist should be bent at the start. Your fingers should be open and just kind of, you know, roughly 50-50. Uh, and once once you have a feel for that, then go ahead and you can maybe try to play along, play uh, play around with doing more more wrist or more fingers. All right, and then the next thing, once you get once you have a sense for the free stroke, just try to you know again initially do them one at a time. Have that starting position, boom, back, and you should just look exactly the same as where you started. Once you start to get a feel for that, then you can start getting start doing consecutive one and then eventually you try, you can go you'll be going fast enough where there's no no pause it's just it's, it's just it's like dribbling a basketball bouncing a ball you know cuz in that might might not be obvious but it's uh it is very similar it's especially sim more similar we aren't talking about our full the full arm motion but when you when you do get into the full arm motion, it's very much like a throwing motion. Um, like if I it, like if I were bouncing a ball off the ground, it's it's there's this video. I don't have time to explain exactly how they're the same, but it, it's literally the same motion um, as bouncing a ball with the full arm. But and even even with just the the hands, it's it's very similar. And, and what's what's to be more specific, what's similar is the. Again, I'm I'm pushing down, 
and then the stick's just bouncing up. And as it's as it's moving up and towards the top, I'm just sort of catching it again and then and then pushing it back down. Just like if I, you know if I was bouncing a ball, I'd push it down. My efforts goes down, the ball goes down, bounces. It's it's coming up all on its own, and at the top, I just kind of catch it and push it back down. You know, if I do this, it's slower, and then as I go faster, it's the same thing. Yeah, and then so I call this dribbling the stick. And, and so this is, um, no, no, I've got one more thing I want to explain after this. Second to last exercise. So once you have a sense, don't, don't try this until you're, you're getting some solid free strokes happening. Okay, and then the last thing I want to say is that, so the free stroke is, it's, an, it's a really important exercise, but really, I mean, this isn't really how, like we don't play with our sticks up in the air. We don't play from top to top, you know. This, a stroke doesn't begin at the top and end at the top. It's actually flipped. So the beginning, a drum stroke, um, I feel like this. I feel like doing these exercises in the beginning, which is important. I feel like it causes a little little confusion for for students because they get really used to being up really high and doing these really big exaggerated motions, and they're important. But that's not actually how we really play. The when you think about a drum stroke, think about it being starting at the bottom and ending at the bottom. And so what's going on now is you have this. You know, just look at this for a second. Like, like when you when you think of a drummer, they they aren't they aren't right. That that looks bizarre. What looks right is this. Right, I'm I'm down here. I'm starting and ending down here. Um, and so so you start low, then you come up. And, and then that's kind of like our free stroke, right? You, you bring it up and then you hit. And then what's gonna happen after you hit, instead, instead of let, hitting it and leaving it up top, what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit. And it's gonna, it's gonna bounce up for like a split second. You probably see it. When I hit, it bounces up. And then, I, and then I just kind of like leave my hand shut and it just kind of, the stick kind of just dies or you know comes to a resting point back where it was back at the starting point. So think of your starting point being like an inch to, you know, two inches off the drum. Then, right, so up, hit, quick bounce, and then it settles. And, and by the way, you can, that, that last, that really quick up bounce, you can, um, for instance, I can, I can hold the stick really loose and let it, and then you can really see that bounce. You know, normally you want to keep and that it's, I mean, that's kind of nice in a way because it's, it, you're nice and relaxed, but at the same time, often if you're playing quick, you don't have time to let the six be bouncing really loose and all over the place. So what you're doing instead often is you're, you're, uh, you need, you need to keep control of it more. So, so all, all, and all you do, all that means is that after you hit, you just kind of, you just, you can just, you just get, squeeze it just slightly tighter and the, and the stick will just come, come to rest quicker. Right. So if I, here, let me do the two ex uh, extremes. Really loose. All right, and then really tight. I'm going to sort of pin the stick down after I hit. You know, it's kind of a trade-off, too. I mean, like, it's kind of tense. I'm squeezing it afterwards, so, you know, you can find a, a middle ground where it's, you're keeping enough control of the stick so it's not bouncing all over the place, but you're also not, like, real tense while you're playing. All right. Um, that is everything I wanted to cover. I hope this video was helpful. Um, yeah, let me know if it was helpful. Leave some, some comments below. Uh, and, uh, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching.